Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the mountain of our blessings, <laughs> the mountain of uh, everything that God has for us. That mountain was a place of blessing for Caleb. He said, I want it. Amen. I want it. I want my blessing. I know Sister, Sister Lemons remembered that. Way back in the day, she said, I want my blessing, Pastor. <laughs> He's saying something. Some people don't, don't want their blessings. She said, I want my blessing. I want my blessing too. Amen. If God have it for me, I want it. If it's not for me, I don't want it. <laughs> right? Just give me the, the blessing that the Lord will have for us. Amen. <laughs> Brother George, he came, he came to church tonight and he saw all, you know, all the cars. He's like, he didn't see any car that he remember, that he's familiar with, so he went back home. <laughs> so I thought something happened. That's the reason why I went out and called, because he had called me. <laughs> and so I don't know. But um, he's on there. I think he says, you know, watch us online. Tonight you're watching Brother George. We're glad you can join us, but maybe next Sunday night we'll, we'll be in church. <laughs> Amen. But I want to read tonight from the, um, the psalm, Psalm 119, and I'll just read part of it, Psalm 119, verses 57 through 64. It said, Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with, the, with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise and give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgments. I am a companion of all them that fear thee, and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. And I want to read verse 63 for our text for tonight's message, where it said, I am a companion of all them that fear thee, and of them that keep thy precepts. And I want to use that tonight to help the Lord where he said, I am a companion of all them that fear God. And with the help of the Lord, I want to preach in a message entitled, My Kind of People. My Kind of People. Let's look to God in prayer tonight. Who wants to pray? Anybody want to pray? Want to pray? Would you pray, please? Yeah. Father, find good ground in our hearts, Father, that we may grow and become the Christians you have us to be. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want to preach about my kind of people and uh, using it from the text here where the psalmist said, I am a companion of all them that fear God. In other words, he made a choice in his life that if he was going to align himself with uh, any group of people, he wanted to be those that have the fear of God in their life. Those that are conscientious about the Lord. Those that respect God. Those that reverence Him. The people that are not easily swayed by the world and the worldly ways and, and the ways of those that want to rebel against Him. He said, I don't want to be a companion of those kind of people. But I want to align myself or be a companion with those that have the fear of God in their life. Those are my kind of people. Amen. Those are my kind of people, those that respect the God that I serve. Now, I love everybody. I care about everybody. I want everyone to get saved. But I'm not ashamed of the brothers and sisters of God. Amen. I'm not ashamed to align myself with God's people and to say, I am a Christian. I'm not ashamed to when someone asks me the question, are you a believer? Yes, I'm a believer. Amen. 
Are you a follower of Jesus? Yes, I am. Amen. That's a good question you can ask me. Ask me in a public area. Are you a disciple? Oh, yes. What would you like to know? <laughs> if you want me to tell you about Jesus? I'll gladly tell you about him. Are you a follower of the Savior? Yes, I am. Amen. Those are my kind of people. Those uh, that have the fear of God in their life and, and have the utmost respect for the Word of God. And we know that we live in a world where people like to associate themselves in groups. And they also like to identify themselves as a member of a specific group that they belong to. You see it all the time. You got motorcycle groups. You got, I don't want to get into all of them, but they have the Hells Angels here and this one and, and that one and, 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 and the combat vets and all the different kind of groups. And that's the group that they are part of. And the they wear their patch and their uniform and stuff like that. Or, you know, we have people that, uh, you know, they associate themselves with what kind of music they listen to, right? You know, you can be a part of our group because we like this, this kind of music. And, of course, you got those that, oh, you can join our group. We just like to party and do drugs and whatever. But people have their different groups that they want to be a part of, right? I want to be a part of God's people. I want to be a companion of those that have God in their life. I want to walk with the righteous. I want to, I, I want to be a part of those that say that the word of the Lord means more to them than anything else. And that they will not uh, uh, take um, umbrage, umbrage, if you will, with the things and the commandments of the word of God. But they will say this is the law of the Lord as he said there in our text. He said, I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. Yeah, I don't want to be a, a companion of the disobedient ones. Amen. As has as been shared, I don't want to be in the same room with that guy. He, he hasn't been paying his tithe. <laughs> right? In case the judgment of God come down upon him. I don't want to be associated with that. Or this one is living in sin, or that one is doing this, or that one is doing that. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be found with them because they're not in line with the precepts and the commandments of the Lord. And I therefore do not want to say I am a part of that. Amen. Yes, I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God, and if someone professes to be a child of God and they're not doing what God called them to do, I'll be the first one to say that person is not following the Word of God. Amen. They may profess they're a Christian. We give them that to their credit, but if they're wrong, they're wrong. Amen. If they're disobedient to the laws of God or they're allowing things in their life that is not right with the Lord and, 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 and everybody knows about it, I will say, yes, I'm a Christian, but that person is not right in the sight of God. Amen. Even the apostle P Paul did the same thing when Peter was not doing right, even though P Peter was his great apostle, when he was, uh, in a sense, um, being hypocritical in his behavior with the disciples in Antioch, the Bible said Paul withstood him to the face and said, Peter, what you're doing is not right. Amen. You know, he wasn't judging him. He was just making a, 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 a right decision. What you're doing is not right, and therefore I will not approve of it. But if you are doing right and you're serving God, I'm there with you. Amen. If you have the fear of God in your life, I'm there with you. If you have the love of God in your life and, the, and, and you're conscious and you're conscientious towards the commandments of the Lord, we, we be brethren. Amen. We are brothers. We, I'm, you're my kind of people because you belong to God wholeheartedly. You love the Lord with all your heart, and I will gladly call you brother or sister, and you can call me your brother. Amen. Not your sister, but your brother. Amen. <laughs> you can call me your brother because we are alike. Amen. We're like-minded. We're like-minded. We belong to the same group and we, we serve the same God and we serve Him according to His commandments and His ways. The psalmist here in our, in our Bible reading, he wanted the readers to know that he was part of a group of people that fear God. Right? He said, and, and, and I don't know if David is the one that wrote this or not. This Psalm 119 doesn't say who the, right, the, author, the author of this psalm is. But think about it, if, it was, if it was, this was written by David, think about what he could associate himself with, with all his accomplishments, all his skills, his talents that he had. 
He could have said, you know what, I'm a companion of the great kings of the earth because he was a king, right? Or he could have said, I am a companion of those that, 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 that um, the writers of great psalmists, psalms and songs and, and skillfully, I'm, I'm a companion of the musicians that play because uh, he was a skillful player of the harp. Or maybe he could have said, you know what, I'm a companion of the great warriors because I was this mighty warrior of God, I, I slay Goliath, where nobody else had the guts to do it, and, 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 and to sing songs about me, Saul slay his thousands, but David is ten thousands, right? He could say, I'm a companion of that, but that wasn't his, if this was David who wrote this, I don't know who did, but if it, say it was him, he could, have, he could have thrown himself in any group, but he didn't. He said, I'm a companion of those that have the fear of God in their life. I am a companion of those that have the fear of God, that fear God, that walk humbly before God, that serve God with a heart that is soft and tender, that come to the house of the Lord joyfully. As he said, I was glad when it said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Amen. He said, I will rather be a doorkeeper at the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. I don't want to be a part of those that forsake the house of God or forsake the word of God and live my own life the way I want to live it and still claim Christianity. He said, no, I want to be a doorkeeper at the house of God. Amen. Just let me get to the house of God. Let me go with those that go to God's house and worship him in, 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 the, in the beauty of holiness and have that fear of God in their life that they will not defile the things of God. They will not profane the holy standard of God, but they will submit Submit themselves to God and to His righteousness and His holiness. He said, those are the people that I'm a companion of. Those are my kind of people. I'm preaching about my kind of people. Amen. I don't know what kind of people you want to be a part of. I hope you do. <laughs> We're in church together tonight, right? But, but he's saying, I want to be a part of those. Those that, that reverence God. They have the fear of God in their life. That they will not easily sin against the Lord. They will not take the Lord's name in vain. They will not curse in the name of the Lord and bless in the name of the Lord at the same time. Amen. They will, their tongue will give glory to God and praise and honor to Him. And they will not curse men that is made after the image of God. Amen. I want to be a companion of those who will submit themselves to the leadership of the Holy Ghost and say, God, lead me and guide me and show me the way that I should go. I want to be a companion of those that are tender to the Spirit of God and that when the Holy Ghost convict them of something, they fall to their knees and say, Lord, I repent. Amen. I want to be a companion of those who will not harden their heart when the Spirit of God is speaking as the Bible tells us, he said, in the day that you hear the voice of the Lord, he said, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, you know, the people of Israel, they heard the voice of God, the, the actual voice of God in the wilderness, they heard the voice of the preachers of God, Moses and others that stood up, but yet they hardened their hearts towards God, and God destroyed them in the wilderness. I don't want to be that kind of people, amen? I don't want to be one of those who know the truth and that will not obey it, but I want to be a part of those who say, God, let me be soft and tender to the moving of the Holy Spirit. Let me be be attentive to the voice of the Spirit of God that when the Holy Ghost is speaking, I will say, Hear, Lord, thy servant, hear it thee. Amen. That's what I want to be a companion of those that have that kind of a heart. That will say, There, he said, I am a companion of them that fear God, that fear thee, and of them that keep thy precepts. I want to be a part of those, not, not those who have a head knowledge of the Word of God. But I don't have any actions behind it. There's a lot of people that know what is right and know what is true. But they will not surrender their life to say, okay, God, let me apply this to my life. Let me do this because I know it's right. I don't want to be a part of that group. But I want to be a part of those that say, God, I know what is right. And I may be struggling with certain aspects of it. But give me the grace. Give me the mercy. Give me the strength so that I can apply thy laws to my life. Amen. Amen. So that I can be made in the image of Jesus Christ. 
That's my kind of people. Amen. Amen. That's my kind of people. And that's, those are the ones that John talked about. He said, they went out from us because it's a testimony to show that they were not all of us. He said, because if they were truly of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. Amen. And what he was saying is because when they, the very fact that they didn't continue in the truths of the word of God show us that they were not really with them. Right. Just like Judas, the Bible said he was numbered with the apostles. But the first opportunity he got, <laughs> he sold the Lord out for 30 pieces of silver. Because to him, it was all about the money. He carried the bag, right? And the Bible said he was a thief. And so the first out, when Jesus said, well, I'm, I'm getting ready to go to the cross and to die. He said, well, my, my means of getting wealth and, and, and money is, is about to dry up. Let me go find another way to make some more money. And so he went to the high priest or the priest, and he, I think it was the high priest and those, and he said, how much would you give me if I tell you where Jesus is? It was all about the money for him. Right? I don't want to be a part. I don't want to be that. Amen? I want to be a part of those who will not sell the Lord out for anything. I want to be a, a part of that company of people that said, you know, all, if I, all I have is a shirt on my back and, 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 and a pants on, now for men, <laughs> or a lady could say, I have a dress on, that's all I got, one, one dress I'm still not going to sell God out. Amen? Amen? If i got to eat ramen noodles, Lord forbid, but if I have to eat ramen noodles three times a day, peanut butter and jelly, so be it. I'm still going to serve the Lord. Amen? I'm still going to be faithful to God. I'm still going to keep, my, keep my, my, my standing with God. I'm not going to give up on the Lord. I'm not going to sell Him out for anything. 30 pieces of silver, he was so disgusted with that, he took it and threw it right back at them and said, you can have it. And he went and hung himself because he understood that he messed up. Amen. I don't want to be a part of that group. I want to be a part of those that have the fear of God in my life, that I walk humbly before God every day, ordering my life according to the Word of God, saying, God, teach me and lead me in the way that I should go. Amen. I want to be a part of that group. And, and David and the psalmist made it very clear. Very clear. He said, I am a companion. Of all them that fear God. And of them that keep thy precepts. The Bible tells us in the psalm, Psalm 133 verses 1 through 3. We, he, speaks about, uh, he speaks about, you know, the brotherhood. Being a companion of the brotherhood. He said there, he said, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. That's the group God wants us to be a part of, right? That blessed group that are unified with Jesus. That blessed group that said, the Lord is my God and I will follow him. That blessed group that said, you know what, I, I, will, not, I will not listen to, to man's opinions about the word of God and what they think, but I will go to the word of God and find out for myself what does the word of God say. And I will do that instead of what some perverted mind say the word of God is teaching. Amen. I want to be a part of those that believe the truth and embrace it. Those that follow hard after the holiness of God. He said, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. I want to be a part of that group. Amen. People that are holy, that, that want to serve God in holiness and purity of heart and mind. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I strive to be holy. Amen. I strive to be submissive to the Holy Holy Ghost. I strive to surrender my life to the guiding of the Spirit of God and say, Lord, what would you have me to do, Jesus? How do you want me to go about this? What do you want me to say? What do you want me to preach? How do you want me to approach this situation, Lord God? I want to be a part of that group of people that will seek the Lord and, 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 and long after the guidance and the leading of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's the group of people we, should, we want to be a part of. Those 
I don't want to be a share this morning. I didn't get to a whole lot of stuff this morning. <laughs> but I don't want to be a, a, a Christian in name only. Amen? I said, I don't want to be a Chino. <laughs> a Christian in name only. I don't want to fly the flag of Christianity. I'm a Christian. I am a Christian. But I'm living like the world. I'm living after, as, as the brother was saying, some people know more about Hollywood than they do know about their Bible. <laughs> right? They know about this actor and that actor and this person's life and this singer and that singer. And they claim Christianity. But you say, can you give me a verse in the Bible? And they can't even give you sometime John 3.16. <laughs> they can't even quote a, a, a good scripture in the Bible. They can't even give you the, the, the address of where the scripture is in the Bible. Amen. Shouldn't we know more about God than the world? Amen. Shouldn't we know more about God than we do about uh, the, the tabloids and, the, and all the stuff? That's, oh, I don't know what I'm preaching about tonight. Who cares? <laughs> should, we know, should, we not, should we not know more about the word of the Lord if we are Christians? Should we not familiar ourselves with the word of the Lord so we can say with the psalmist, I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts? Amen. I, I mess with these guys sometimes. I say, man, y'all know more about baseball. And I'll try to so say, tell me about this. You know, about, about you know, all these players and baseball. And you can talk about all the, the different playing of football. I'm not wrong with knowledge. I'm just saying, you know all this stuff. But you don't know anything about the Bible. You don't know anything about God. You don't know anything about the truth, about the Word of God. You don't have any head knowledge or heart knowledge about the things of God. I don't want to be a part of that group. I want to be a part of those who said, teach me thy word, O Lord. Teach me thy word. Isn't the Bible? He said in the first Psalm, he said, blessed are those right, who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed are those who doesn't align themselves with the sinners or stand in the way of sinners. He said, but their delight is in the law of the Lord. And in His law, they meditate night and day. That's the group I want to be a part of. Amen. That's my kind of people that, that have a longing and a desire for the truth. They come to the house of the Lord and yes, they said, tell me the truth from the word of God. Not my truth, not your truth, but God's truth. Amen. Give me the whole truth of the word of God. Read it, preach it, tell me about it and let me, let me soak it up in my life. Amen. Think about how strong the church will be if people have that kind of desire. God, I just want your word. I want your truth. The Bible said in the early church, man, that's all they did. Right? They were out soul winning. They were out preaching. They were out praying. They were out seeking God. And that's the reason why the church was so blessed. is because the people were focused on God. Amen? Amen. Uh, I was very thankful last night, you know, my wife, she was back there working on, on the, the Lord's work, maybe 11, 12 o'clock, I'm 11, 12, trying to seek God, and thank God you got people, amen, you got people after a whole day of working for the Lord, visitation and everything, and, and still take my kids to the park, amen, it might have been 6 o'clock, but I still went to the park and play, still spend time with them, everything, but we didn't stop working after they were, they were down, still seeking God, searching the word of God, what do you want me to preach? How do you want me to share it? What do you want me to say? Amen. That's the group I'm talking about tonight. Oh God, let us burn with a desire for the truth. You see, it is good to be a part of the family of God. The greatest group of people in the world are those that belong to the family of God. Those that have been born again by the blood of Jesus. They're the redeemed of the Lord. Those who have the fear of God in them, those who are not ashamed of God and of His Word, those are the people, those are my kind of people, amen? amen. Those who said, Lord, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to be a testimony. I'm not ashamed to be a light. I'm not ashamed to be an example of a true Christian. I want to stand out. I don't want to just blend in to, with everybody else, amen? I want to just stand out and say, here I am. Here, Christian, I'm here. <laughs> Amen. You need to know about God, I'll tell you. I'll gladly tell you about Him. That's the kind of, that's, what, that's the group I'm talking about tonight. That's the group I'm talking about. Those that have a heart for God. Those that have the fear of God in their life. Those who are not trying to live a double life 
living in the world and living in, in the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, you know, we can't do that. Amen. We got to make a choice what group we want to be in. We got to make a choice of who we're following. I don't want to be a, a part of the group of those that are going after the world and the worldly things. I want to be a part of those people who are saved. Those people who have the Spirit of God in them. Those people that say, you know what? Jesus is my Lord and I have decided to follow Jesus and there is no turning back. That's my kind of people tonight. Amen? I'm preaching about my kind of people. My kind of people are those that that love the Lord with all their heart, all their mind, all their soul. My kind of people are those who said, Jesus, I just want to give my life to you every single day, more and more and more. I look for ways to surrender my life to the Lord. Amen. I just want to do a little bit more every day. If I've come to this point, I want to go a little bit more, right? Give a little bit more energy, a little bit more time to the Lord. I understand every day when it's not the same. I understand that there are life that we have to live. There are things that happen that try to stop our momentum and, and our growth in the Lord. But I'm thankful for those who said, well, I may have a setback, but I'm going to do better next time. Amen. I'm going to be a little bit better tomorrow because I want to be what God wants me to be. Amen. That's my kind of people that have a tender heart towards the Lord. They have a genuine love. And devotion for God. The long after the things of God. They want the, the, the word of God to be the cornerstone of their life. They want Jesus to be the solid foundation upon which they stand. That's the kind of people that I want to be a part. That's my group. Amen. That's my group. Amen. My group are those, as he said in our text, I am a companion of all them that fear thee. Oh my goodness, have I been preaching that long already? I'm still, I'm not done yet, but I'll, I'll shut, up, shut up right in. Come to your <laughs> right? <laughs> the Bible talked about those in, in Matthew chapter 12, verse 30, as she's coming. We'll close it out. I didn't realize I was preaching that long. He said, He that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. I'm talking about my kind of people, right? My kind of people are those that is with Christ, that is for Christ, that is on the team with Jesus. My kind of people are those that love to serve God and to be a part of His kingdom. As He said in, in Romans, He said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. In Hebrews 11:16, He said, But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly. Wherefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for He had prepared for them a city. God prepared for them a place because they had a desire to be with God. I mean, that's the group of people I want to be with. I want to get to heaven with those kind of people. Amen. I want to go to heaven and, and say, you know what, Lord? You know, uh, there was a lot of things, I, a lot of group I could have been a part of. I could have joined this group and that group and this group and whatever. But I'd rather join the group of God's, God's servants. Amen. I'd rather be named among the saints of God. I'd rather be named among those that are called brethren. Those that are called disciples. That's the group I want to be a part of. That's my kind of people, those who are not ashamed to be a follower of Jesus in this present world that we live in. That's the kind of people that I want to be a part of. Amen. I am a companion. I am a companion of all. And this is all around the world. Amen. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. All that have the fear of God in their life and all that keep the commandments of the Lord. I am a part of that group. Amen. There are brothers in China, in India, in, in um, some in Kuwait. I've witnessed the people in Kuwait. Amen. There are people in Kuwait and in Iraq. There are Christians over there that fear God and keep His commandments. There are those in Israel that fear God and keep His commandments. There are those in Canada, those in, in Russia, those in Ukraine, those in South America and Argentina. Bro, we got, we, got a, we got a big group. Amen. Our group is, is huge. Amen. Our group is great. God have people all around this world that fear Him and walk humbly before Him and keep His commandments. And that's the group I want to be a part of. Those are my kind of people. Amen. Those that have God in their life. And so she's going to play and say, let's spend some time in prayer tonight. 
Let's thank God for the group. Thank God for our group tonight. Amen. God fearing, God loving, holiness, righteousness, people. Thank you, Jesus, for your word tonight. We give you glory and praise and honor. I ask God that you help us tonight to make up our mind which group we will be a part of. I want to be a part of your group, Lord Jesus. Your people, your soldiers, your warriors. I give your family. And I pray tonight you will help us every step of the way. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, let's spend some time in prayer.
God's presence is still here with us tonight. The Wurang to the altar is there. The beginning of service is there. What I'm saying is, God is with us. Amen. His presence is with us. So I encourage you to pray this week. Pray that God will help us. Like I said, you know, things will change in a better time schedule and stuff like that. But, you know, as we're preparing ourselves, you know, we just look forward for God to help us. You know, change the time and get out of here eventually. <laughs> Amen. But one thing at a time, okay? One victory at a time. Rejoice in every victory that God gives you. You know, a lot of times God gives you a victory, and that old devil will come trying to steal it. Oh, yes. Amen. So rejoice in the victories, right? Rejoice in the victories that God gives you, whether small or great. Just rejoice in your victory and, um, and thank God for that, and let's just continue to, to prosper in our God. Amen. Be a part of those. That group that love God, fear God, serve God, honor God, and do all that they can for Him. Amen? I mean, God bless you. For all you to join us online tonight, have a blessed night. And uh, Lord willing, we'll be back here on Tuesday night for Bible study and uh, still in the book of Romans. And you can join us and we can grow together. Amen? God bless you. Father, thank you for the service tonight. I pray that you will use your word for your glory and your honor. Help us, God, to continue to lift up the name of Jesus and to continue, God, to follow closely after you. We give thanks and praise to you tonight. In Jesus' name we ask these things. Amen. Amen. God bless you.